Energy loss can happen in any home, and often where you least expect it. A prime area to protect is your home's exterior walls. Jim Bradley, a home energy specialist, will show you how to prevent energy loss from the electrical sockets located in your home. Another area in the home that uh, you can easily improve the efficiency of the wall structure would be at electrical outlets and light switch receptacles. The box behind the plate is usually hollow to the inside, with, with, therefore allowing air to enter inside the box and through the walls. What we usually like to do is first make sure power is turned off because you will be dealing with the electrical outlet first um, and that could be a, definitely an electrical shock hazard. So I would start by first turning off electrical power, then taking off the faceplate. Then I do a visual inspection, make sure everything looks okay before I take anything else off. At this point, the receptacle is ready to remove. And I back it out slowly. A little bit of paint there holding it in place. Being careful to not grab the sides. Grabbing the sides, there's screws on the sides where the wires are hooked in. And for some reason, you thought you turned the power off and didn't. That could be bad. And then I visually inspect to see where holes are in the box and where the wires are coming through. And not just where the wires are coming through, but sometimes they put extra knockout or penetration points in the box that we definitely want to seal. And we'll first start by getting this more out of the way, and then taking my reusable foam gun, turning the outflow up just a little bit, inserting a non-conductive uh, clear tubing that you can purchase at uh, most hardware stores. And that allows you to make sure you can get it exactly where you want it in the back of the box, but also that it does not conduct with anything that still might be electrified. To get it started, I'll put the can in the upright position. I'll let the tube fill. Carefully foam the back where the wires are coming through. Making sure I don't can entirely foam the box because then there's no room for the outlet to go back in. Then I noticed that there were knockouts or holes in the top of the box that I want to get up there and seal as well. Repeat with the other outlets on the exterior wall. Usually we like to have a given room to have all the outlets opened up to the same stage because the process that is, is recommended is that you do the back of the outlets first, then reinstall the outlet, and then you can do the perimeter. That way you keep the foam mess down to a minimum. Be aware that the insulation foam will not shut off immediately once the trigger is released because there will still be pressure behind it. Make sure you have a place to put the excess foam. And then I can go ahead and work the outlet back into place. And in the junction where the box comes into the sheetrock, you can see there's a void we want to get that sealed as well. So I can start at the bottom or the top. If you use too much foam, wait before installing the outlet faceplate. Let it dry and cut away the excess. In a few simple steps, you can save money and have a home that is cool in the summer and warm in the winter.